Hey, what up, guys? Jay Sting right here again on the House of Horror. Got another review for you today. Um, this is the Pact from 2012, and this was recommended by Pizal. Uh, I think he may have done a review over on his channel, but he's a big, big friend of the, uh, the House of Horror. So appreciate the review, man. I'm actually this is one of the only films I've seen this year that I'm actually excited to talk about. But uh, came out 2012, of course, directed by. Um, Nicholas McCarthy, and it stars Kathy Lotz, Casper Van Dien, Mark Steger, and Agnes Bruckner. <clears throat> um, yeah, this film had a, had a couple of things that were against it to begin with. Uh, first of all, the uh, Casper Van Dien, man, pretty much everything with him in it is not very good. So his, his name, to me, before this movie, was pretty much the kiss of death because, you know, as you guys know, he did... Uh, Starship Troopers back in the day, and that was you know that was a pretty cool film. But since then, hasn't really done a whole lot worth a damn. You know, straight to DVD stuff, Sci-Fi Channel stuff, and that's one of the reasons. Before I heard uh, Pizzow talk about it, that I uh, you know hadn't checked it out before. But also, there was another film called The Pact. It was a French film that that my boy Savini, 1979, reviewed on the House of Horror probably a year ago, a couple years ago, maybe it's been a while. But uh, that, that's a cool film also, and I didn't know this maybe was a remake of that or something. But anyway, this is streaming on Netflix. I would highly recommend you guys check it out. It's a really unique, really unique film. It takes, you know, a lot of horror cliches, you know, stuff that's done all the time, and it really does a good job with it. And, you know, you think this film is a, is a straight-on paranormal film, you know, paranormal activity, uh grave encounters type of deal but it's not it uh it does have a lot of that in there but it actually turns into a different kind of film and i'm not going to have any spoilers in here hopefully but the uh lead actress also i wanted to mention uh kathy lot katie lots she uh she was in a film or in the uh tv show uh death valley it's like a horror comedy came on mtv i don't know if they're going to do it anymore but she was in that for a little while and i you know immediately recognized her when uh you know when i saw her in the film but uh she does a great job you know great acting not really a whole lot of characters in this movie but um yeah, essentially this film is about a uh, young woman uh, her uh, mother passes away and she goes to the house to live there or uh, you know stay there for a little while whatever and she goes missing so her sister and that's the main character uh comes back her sister uh, annie and that's uh, Katie Lotz comes back to the house to uh, you know see see her sister originally, but then to figure out what's wrong with her sister, where you know where is she? So she's she's there, and you know immediately when the film starts, paranormal stuff starts to happen. You know, uh, basic basic ghost stuff, and you know I I was kind of into that because I like movies like that anyway. But you know I wasn't all that impressed from the get go, and you know about 30, 45 minutes into the film, it kind of switches gears. And you know goes a different direction, and uh, she, you know, of course everybody eventually thinks that she's crazy, and you know she meets Casper Van Dien. He's a, a sheriff or some sort of police officer in this town, and um, also uh, there's an element of the uh, her sister has a, a daughter, and, and she's there in the film also. So you you kind of concerned about her safety, but. Uh, a lot of the stuff I enjoyed about the film was the director does a great job with suspense building, tension building, and uh, you know not a whole lot of jump scares in there to uh, you know kind of kind of ruin it for you. But great suspense building, you guys are into that. You know that's one of my favorite things about these types of movies, and he does a great job with it. Really, really keeps you on the edge of your seat for a long time, and I you know I enjoy that about a lot of films. Um, also, you know, the direction in general is really good. I liked a lot of the camera angles, and uh, acting's great. Uh, this is one of the better horror films I've seen in 2012. I highly recommend you guys check it out. And uh, Netflix streaming. I know it seems like I'm, I'm promoting the damn thing, but, you know, these days I don't really have a whole lot of opportunity to buy movies. So, um, you know, I do still buy stuff, but, you know, trying to trying to kind of cut that back a little bit. So Netflix streaming is where it's at. So, uh yeah, check it out, guys. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Peace.